you are guilty. You will serve a term in the state penitentiary for five years minimum, and you are guilty of this crime. The evidence has been weighed, the truth has come out, and this is the consequence of your actions. Judicial system happens all the time. Every day, there's somebody, based upon a trial, a jury of their peers, the evidence has been weighed, and the judge comes down with a, with a rendering, a judgment. Happens all the time. Now I want to take you back in time to a trial that happened nearly 2,000 years ago. A trial of Jesus. Now this trial was a farce. It was a joke. It was just... It was people wanting to get rid of Jesus. The Pharisees, the scribe, the whole Sanhedrin, they were afraid of what Jesus was going to do. So they came up with this whole thing in order to get rid of him. They wanted him gone. Pilate saw right through that. He saw right through it. Let's take a look at our gospel lesson, which is coming up this Sunday as we talk about judgment this coming Sunday from John chapter 19. We're going to look at beginning in verse 4. Again, Pilate went out and said to the Jewish leaders, look, I am bringing him out to you so that you may know that I find no reason for an accusation against him. So Jesus came outside wearing the crown of thorns and a purple robe. Pilate said to them, look, here is the man. When the chief priests and their officers saw him, they shouted out, crucify him, crucify him. Pharisees, the scribes, the Sanhedrin, they wanted Jesus gone, like I said. They put it all up to Pilate. And eventually, the crowd, the Pharisees, won out. Pilate judged Jesus to be guilty and sentenced him to death. It was a joke. It was a farce. Jesus wasn't guilty of anything. And that's the good news. It really is. It's good news for you and me because we who are guilty of our sins, we who are guilty of judging people, we who are guilty of being judge, jury, and executioner all in our minds, when we maybe when we just see somebody walking down the street, we figure out, oh, that person's up to no good just by looking at them. No. See, Jesus went through this fake trial, this judgment, and that's good news for us. Because the judgment of guilty was poured on Jesus and not on you and me. Because of the guilt, guilty verdict that Jesus experienced, God says to you and me, I declare you not guilty of sin. And Jesus took that guilty verdict. Jesus took our guilt, our sins, our condemnation, all that we deserve. Jesus took it to the cross. And there, our execution happened. Our execution happened when Jesus died on the cross. We were executed. Our sins, our sinfulness, our judging and all other sins that we've so far talked about this season and yet have a few more to talk about. All gone. They're all gone. We are judged not guilty because of what Jesus was judged. And so when we, we have been given a new life, a new life because of the passion of Jesus Christ, because of what Jesus Christ was done, has done. His death, his resurrection gave us forgiveness and a new life. So that as we look at people now, we do not judge them. Oh yes, our responsibility as Christian people is to point out sin, point out sinfulness, and point out the consequences of said sin. But it is not our responsibility. No, it is not our responsibility to judge. That's up to God. That is his responsibility and his alone. It is our responsibility to point out sin, no matter what the sin may be, to point it out, 
to point out the, 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 the possibilities and, and to point out Jesus. To point out Jesus who died and forgave them of their sins. Our responsibility is to lead people to convict them of their sins, to convert them into a faith with Christ, and to save their lives. That's what our responsibility is, is all about. That's what we do. And so we take the judgment that Jesus faced, the judgment of guilty, and we say, thank you, God, for taking on our sins and our sinfulness through your passion and Jesus by Jesus. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we give you thanks and praise for all of the blessings that you've given to us. We thank you for taking on the judgment of our sins so that we are forgiven and to judge us not guilty of sin because of Jesus. Lead us to be point, ones who point out sin, but ones who do not judge. Lead us to be your people who live by means of your grace. And we pray this all in the name of your son, Jesus, and all God's people say, Amen.